So I wanted to photograph the red squirrels and today, last day of peak season, we booked tickets for Brownsy Island. Arrived about five minutes ago and we already seen about five red squirrels and now we are going to the hide for the waterfowl and see what we get there but uh, the light was too dark to photograph the red squirrels and uh, we're hoping to see more we've got some peanuts and hopefully we get some good shots but meanwhile let's check the hideout It's pretty empty right now, but also there's nothing happening outside. Just a couple of sandpipes. I don't know water birds very well, but I'm learning them. So I really want to go and uh, check out the red squirrels in the forest down here. So let's go. We'll come back to the hides. So this is the second hide. There are two hides here. Overseeing the, the water. There's one, this one that I'm in, and then uh, there's another one there. So, yeah, let's go out and we have a long walk today. To come to uh, Brownsea Island, you have to, you can buy tickets as you arrive with the ferry, but to be safe, uh, I've booked mine online yesterday, but today. So from Pool Keys, you have to take the ferry. It's about 20 minutes with the ferry. Uh, it's a small ferry, uh, it's the yellow one, because there were quite a few ferries down there and you show the ticket that you get through the email uh, when you arrive on the island so no one's actually asking you for the ticket while you are on the ferry uh, I paid 43 pounds for two tickets uh, but today is the last day of peak season summertime so tomorrow they went gonna go cheaper I think it's like half price it's about 21 pounds for one person and starting from tomorrow it's gonna to be around 12 I think so yeah as soon as you arrive you go to the reception they give you a map and you have toilets down there you have maps around the island to show you where they are but you also get a map map and you have a cafe there, you can drink a coffee, eat a sandwich or anything and then off you go to explore the island. So you get a map like this. And that will show you where you are. And yeah, main subject to photograph here are red squirrels, but plenty of wildlife. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult to photograph the red squirrels because they don't sit at all. And it's a bit of a challenge, but we still have the whole day. It's only been about an hour and a half since we've been to the island, so 
plenty to explore. That's the yellow ferry of the National Trust. So when you buy your tickets on the National Trust website and you arrive to Pool Key, you need to go for the yellow uh, ferry with the red seats. Just came down on the beach and first thing we saw a kingfisher that just flew away. So hopefully if we stick around, she might come back and That'll be something, Kingfisher on the ocean. A beach with actual sand in UK. That's beautiful. Keep looking to see the Kingfisher comes around, but no sight of it. There's a seagull down here. I think we're gonna head for a cafe to have a drink and maybe a sandwich or something. And then we go back to the woodland area and we're going to spend some time waiting and trying to get the uh, uh, full body photo of a uh, red squirrel because they're absolutely lovely but because the beach is empty and there's no one around and it's literally quiet it's it's very tempting to just hang around here and enjoy the sand stopped for a bit of cold water and to rest for 20 minutes and there were some lovely peacocks there with chicks very young chicks less than a week and they were very tame and I actually managed to get some photos of them Fun fact about the peacocks is they uh, they lose their tail end of August and they regrow a uh, regrow a new one uh, until springtime. So that's why the peacocks, like the one down here, doesn't have a beautiful tail.
just found a brilliant, brilliant spot in which I got tons of photos of the uh, red squirrel. Um, I actually got two red squirrels and they were actually fighting with each other and they're making weird noises. <laughs> really, really happy. Um, I can't wait to go home and actually see the photos and uh, do a bit of edit. But they are exactly the photos that I've planned to take when uh, when I came here. And super excited and super happy. So we're back to take the ferry and go to uh, the car park and head home. Super happy for today. Thank you for watching. It was absolutely amazing. My first time seeing the red squirrels in UK and I can say that I was not disappointed. This place is absolutely amazing. Not only for the red squirrels but also to visit and have a walk around. If you have a day off this is a place to be and enjoy nature. So we're heading, we're waiting for the ferry now and head home. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.